Have you ever gazed up at the night sky and felt an overwhelming sense of wonder? The twinkling stars, the distant galaxies, they all hint at a scale almost impossible to grasp. But just how big is the universe? Prepare to embark on a mind-bending journey to understand the true immensity of our cosmic home. The universe is everything that exists, all matter, energy, space, and time. It encompasses everything from the smallest subatomic particles to the largest galaxy clusters. Understanding its size is one of humanity's most profound scientific quests. It challenges our perceptions and expands our understanding of reality. This question isn't as simple as it seems, as there are two distinct ways to measure the universe. We talk about the observable universe and the total universe. Each offers a unique perspective on the cosmos. Let's explore these fascinating concepts in detail. Imagine standing in the middle of a vast, dark ocean. You can only see as far as the light reaches your eyes. The observable universe is much like that. It's the portion of the cosmos from which light has had enough time to reach us since the Big Bang. This cosmic bubble, centered on Earth, represents the limits of what we can currently detect. It's not a physical boundary in space, but rather a limit imposed by the age of the universe and the speed of light. Everything within this bubble is theoretically accessible to our telescopes and instruments. To measure these incredible distances, astronomers use a unit called the light year. A light year is not a measure of time, but of distance. It's the distance that light travels in one Earth year. Light, the fastest thing we know, moves at an astonishing speed of approximately 299,792 kilometers per second, about 186,282 miles per second. Over the course of a year, light covers an immense distance, about 9.46 trillion kilometers, or 5.88 trillion miles. To put that into perspective, traveling at the speed of light, you could circle Earth more than seven times in a single second. This unit helps us comprehend the vastness of space. The observable universe is estimated to be about 93 billion light years in diameter. This means that the most distant light we can detect has traveled for 13.8 billion years to reach us. This 13.8 billion years is the approximate age of the universe itself. So if light has only been traveling for 13.8 billion years, why is the diameter 93 billion light years and not 27.6 billion light years, 13.8 billion years multiplied by two for the diameter? This is where the expansion of the universe comes into play. It's a crucial concept to grasp. One of the most profound discoveries of the 20th century was that the universe is expanding. It's not just that galaxies are moving through space, space itself is stretching. Imagine dots on the surface of an inflating balloon. As the balloon inflates, the dots move farther apart, even though they aren't moving across the surface. This expansion means that the light we observe from distant galaxies started its journey when those galaxies were much closer to us. However, during the 13.8 billion years that light has been traveling, the space between us and those galaxies has stretched considerably. This stretching has carried those galaxies much farther away. Therefore, objects whose light took 13.8 billion years to reach us are now estimated to be approximately 46 billion light years away from us. Since the observable universe is a sphere, its diameter is twice this distance. Hence, the 93 billion light year figure. This ongoing expansion continues to push the boundaries of what we can see. The very edge of our observable universe is marked by the cosmic microwave background, CMB, radiation. This faint glow is the oldest light we can detect, a remnant from about 380,000 years after the Big Bang. Before this time, the universe was too hot and dense for light to travel freely. 
the CMB is like a baby picture of the universe, showing us what it looked like when it was just a fraction of its current age. It provides crucial evidence for the Big Bang theory and helps us understand the early conditions of the cosmos. Observing the CMB is like looking back in time to the very beginning of light's journey. While the observable universe is vast beyond human comprehension, it's crucial to understand that it might be just a tiny fraction of the entire cosmos. The total size of the universe, the true universe, remains unknown. We simply don't have enough information to determine its full extent. Our current understanding suggests that the universe could be significantly larger than what we can observe. Some theories even propose that it might be infinite. This concept challenges our intuition, as our minds are accustomed to finite spaces and boundaries. The primary reason we can't see the entire universe is the finite speed of light combined with the universe's age. Light from regions beyond our observable horizon simply hasn't had enough time to reach us since the Big Bang. It's like trying to see the end of a very long race when the runners are still far from the finish line. Even if we waited billions more years, our observable universe would expand, but new light from even more distant regions would enter our view. However, due to the accelerating expansion of the universe, some regions might eventually recede from us faster than light can travel, making them forever unobservable. Scientists have developed various theories about the total size of the universe based on cosmological models and observations. One key factor is the universe's geometry or curvature. If the universe is flat, as current evidence from the CMB suggests, it implies that it could be infinite in extent. A flat universe means that parallel lines would remain parallel forever, never converging or diverging. This geometry is consistent with an infinite universe. If it were positively curved, like the surface of a sphere, it would be finite but unbounded. If negatively curved, like a saddle, it would be infinite. One prominent theory that supports a much larger, possibly infinite universe is cosmic inflation. This theory proposes that in the first tiny fraction of a second after the Big Bang, the universe underwent an incredibly rapid, exponential expansion. This inflationary epoch smoothed out the universe and stretched it to an enormous size. If inflation occurred, it would have expanded the universe far beyond our observable horizon. This means that the universe we can see is just a small patch of a much, much larger, possibly infinite, cosmos. Inflation theory also helps explain the observed flatness and uniformity of the universe. Taking the concept of an infinite universe even further, some theories propose the existence of a multiverse. This idea suggests that our universe is just one of many universes, perhaps an infinite number of them, each with its own unique properties and physical laws. While highly speculative, the multiverse concept arises from various cosmological models, including certain interpretations of inflation theory and string theory. It's a fascinating thought experiment that pushes the boundaries of our understanding of reality. However, there is currently no direct observational evidence for a multiverse. Understanding the scale of the universe, both observable and potentially total, is a truly humbling experience. It puts our existence into a profound perspective. Our planet, Earth, is a tiny speck within our solar system. Our solar system is a minuscule part of the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way is just one of billions of galaxies in the observable universe. And the observable universe itself might be an infinitesimally small part of an even grander, possibly infinite, cosmos. This vastness reminds us of the incredible complexity and beauty of the universe. It also highlights how much more there is to learn and discover. The quest to understand the universe's size is an ongoing journey. Every new telescope, every new observation, and every new theoretical model brings us closer to unraveling its mysteries. It's a testament to human curiosity and our insatiable desire to explore the unknown. 
the universe is a place of unimaginable scale and complexity. While we can measure the observable universe with increasing precision, the true extent of the total universe remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in science. From the 93 billion light-year diameter of our cosmic bubble to the theoretical possibility of an infinite cosmos, the universe continues to challenge and inspire us. It reminds us that our understanding is constantly evolving and that there is always more to learn. The journey of cosmic discovery is far from over. If you found this journey through the cosmos as fascinating as we did, hit that like button. Share this video with anyone who loves to ponder the big questions. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more mind-expanding explorations of science and the universe. What cosmic mysteries should we explore next? Let us know in the comments below.